very interesting phenomena, as you can see here, scientists discover message from God in human DNA code. Now, in fact, letters are connected with the DNA, this we can see clearly. And what is amazing, we see it is a lecture which we see part of it in Ibu of the scientists from Weizmann Institute, how it is that you see God's name in the DNA, amazing phenomena, which we'll see just now. It is in Hebrew, but in, in, Hebrew in, in Russian, but some, I don't know what not in English, so I will try to explain to you what he says in this part. So really, we are going now to discuss about the DNA a little bit to show how it looks like, because this will be important for the explanation. Here we see the connection between the spirit and the bridges in between. And in fact, all of us are connected with letters that we see just now. So this is really basically the idea of the DNA spirales, two of them, connected by bridges, acids, and we see just now. Now what we are going to see now, it is in Hebrew and English, a lecture, part of a lecture of the great scientist from Weizmann Institute, and he explains where his God name in the DNA. Really like a signature, like, you know, like a painter puts his name down to show that this is his picture. The same thing, God's name is in the DNA, telling us I am the creator. Now let us see now, it is in Hebrew, as we say, try to translate it, and it is in Russian, so Russian people will be able to, to see it. And then what I got to do, this is the most important to show, in codes, in Bible codes, Torah codes, that this is exactly it is based on some tables of Michael Drosning, but he did not bring this thing which I got to show you. This is addition which I will show you. It gives very funny inter interpretation to what he sees, at least and so far away for what really the idea is. And then we see really what is the truth of it and how it comes so clearly in Torah codes. So let us see now part of this Israeli scientist working in Weizmann Institute in Rehobet for four years, he says that he was researching really this idea, what is in the DNA, and this he found out and he was really shocked to see how it is clearly come with God's name. So let us see what he says in Hebrew and then I will try to explain to you and then we see the quotes about it. So this is now what he shows about the DNA. As you can see, this is the DNA, the spirals. From time to time. There is a bridge. It's painted in red, connecting the, the bridge causes that this spiral will not explode and he will live. So he asked now a question of million dollars. He wanted to know from the, from the computer where he found this bridge. So, so he counts the bridges. He says 10 acids in one of them, fifth, six, and then six and five. Now I got to show you what is here. Ten, five, six, five. Yeah. This is a bridge in the book. Ten, five. And these are the letters in the city. What are the letters, sir? It means there is ten, five, ten acids, five acids, six acids, and again five acids inside the DNA. The name of God, like a, like a painter put down his name, 
So God also put his name. All, all parts, genes, in all genes have this, the same, the same combination of the acids. Clearly, very, very emotional. It's name God as a verse, the name God is on you, and your, the nations will be afraid of you. The name of God is, is enough. In the DNA, ten acids, five acids, six, and again five. Now I will show you. Yeah. This is a sign that God created us, and we behave according to the Torah. Now, what I got to show you is how it is in the code. You know, yeah, it is Michael Drosen we started, but what we are going to see now is exactly the letters of God in it. So, this is what you are going to see now. So let's just make it a little bigger, that you will be able to see it. But it is unbelievable, unbelievable phenomena, really clearly showing that God is a creator. He created us. Now, what you see here is really what Michael Dronin found, part of it. You see, just after he found it. It is in his book, Bible Code, second part, the, it has to do with uh, Twin Towers, I think. Okay, but whatever it is, let us see what he has here in his book. So he has your DNA spiralim, or spiral, spiralim. I mean, once in the Torah, there's a DNA basis is based on spiralims, on spirals, amazing. This is what he found, and then he found also interesting, written here, part of the text, by Adam Tavni, this is the structure of man. And this, what I've so often also found called, he found also seed, because the seed is definitely the foundation of everything. Then I looked into it, and I see amazing phenomena, which <laughs> those who did not see. But amazingly, come here exactly the letter of God, which are the numbers, Yud, Vav, K. This is 10, this is 6, and this is 5. The other one is also 5. So these are the main numbers of the acids which join the spirals. <laughs> they will not explode, and the man will live. Amazing. I don't think this is one to millions, That's because never is only once in the Torah, DNA and spiral. And the continuation, exactly the letters of God with the numbers of the acids, of the bridges. Ten, six, five. Because you have another five, so you have another, but you, you give up, you're amazing. So this is, as we said, what Michael Rosen found, and the interpretation which he gives, the Bible is also the code of God. And the interpretation which he gives a listen and all, like very, very strange, nothing to do with this topic. But uh, whatever it is, no doubt that what you see here, right, is that the DNA and the spiralum are connected, exist by the Yud Babke, the name of God. And this is the code of God with which the world was created. It's amazing phenomena, no doubt. And all of this, what happening today, you know, the courts and all this come to strength and I believe in God because there's no other explanation for it. So this is what he found. He had some other things and as again I said that it needs really explanation. It means because simple is not so at all understandable. So let us see what we have more in the table. Also something very interesting no doubt that he found and this is, as you see now, is amazing, also amazing, with the addition that I found. Now he found connection between the code, the DNA code, or code DNA, the code of the DNA, together with the Torah code, with code Torah, you can see in black code Torah, and in red, code DNA, 
the code of the DNA. Then you find the word seed there, I don't think much more, you know, find, but what I find is that the connection of the code of the Torah, the Torah code, and the DNA code is otiot, letters, yeah, letters of the Torah, of the Hebrew alphabet, because also the letter of the four things in the G, T, what we have there, the four letters, also all of them to do with letters which have meaning. So amazingly, this is what he found, I think he writes in his book that he asks uh, Professor Rips about this. So Professor Rips said, yeah, it is, I think, one to, very significant, one to three hundred. But this is amazing and clearly adds more to what uh, Michael Dawson does not really emphasize so much, that really what connects the DNA and the code is the code, the letters of God, as is written in the Torah, the starting, the Rishit Bara Elohim, in the beginning God created Et, the, in Hebrew Et is Aleph Taf. So the Kabbalah says that God created the word with letter, from Aleph, from the first one, to Ta. Yeah? In fact, it is interesting, the letter Ta, Ta, <laughs> also, Cell, yeah, cell. It's exactly when you speak about chromosome twenty-two. Uh, there are forty-four besides the uh, masculine, the feminine, and amazingly also twenty-two letters of the alphabet. Yeah, twice men and women. Now also is amazing that in the first verse, the Rashid Barai Lokim et Hashemayim et Aris in the beginning of create heaven earth. If you take the first letter like Beth. Bereshit, Bara, Bet, and so on, 22 letters. Again, another indication that God created the world with 22 letters of the Alephites. So there is no doubt that the 22 of the Alephites with which, with which the world was created and man was created, all is shown by divinity, by the Torah, which is based on 22 letters. Now, let us see another table. And this is really a table which I can see that I look myself what really can be found in the Torah about the codes. So I mean, this is really something which I put the related letters and see. So I put the, I look really first for the best missing of the code DNA is the code of the DNA with letters. It came here, you see, best meeting. Then, parallel, Lashon, language, which is language, I look him, the language of God, which is a Hebrew letter with which God created the world. Then, we have here a word which uh, Michael Dawson brings very often, Zera, Zera is a seed. He has a seed which contains those cells, those homes, and everything. So you have here the Zerah, letter after letter, and this is the Binyan, the, ma- the, the building of Adam, of the man. So this is exactly what I found. By the way, it is interesting that I found in one book, yeah, in one book, Genesis, which is really the book uh, which has the story of the creation and everything. And Dr. Rottenbaum, whose program I use, because he himself really became Orthodox Jew, when he saw this phenomenon of the concept from Professor Rips which happened also to other scientists like uh, Michelson from Harvard. So, this is amazing, I said, looking now without the table of, of drawing, clearly showing you the, the, the code of the DNA, our letters, each letters of the Lashon, of the language of God, and this is really in the seed of man, the Christian man. By the way, the, you know, he takes this uh, Lashon like uh, Listen, what is listen? But it's so simple and so logical that this is a language of God with which He created the world. So, as we said, very, very interesting tables. And some, I don't know, this lecture is in Hebrew and also in uh, Russian, but don't know, not in English. But I want now to repeat what we saw here. First thing we, we saw based on Michael Drosing finding of. DNA spirals, but the continuation is Yud K Vav, and Yud Vav and A, 10, 6, and 5, means also the number of the acids, the bridge which connects the spirals, as they will not explode. 
And this is the code of God. So it's amazing, yeah. And also what he found is that see by Adam Tamlis, it's structure of men. But somehow God being behind he did not find but <laughs> This is, in, as he writes in his book, that he believes that the courts are true. No doubt for him, but he doesn't believe in God. No, he's not. Yeah, he wants, you know, he wants to keep, he wants to have a nice time, Shabbos, and so on. So difficult to accept. They say today that not believing in God is not scientific, it's psychological. Simple. People don't want to accept upon them Torah, which requires quite thing, but without accepting the Torah, so, you know, it is not so good. So, this is amazing, the first one, as we saw, and the code which we showed, it means to what Michael Drozin showed, amazing, clearly, even we say, this is really the basis of creation, which now the science found out, you know, science now helps a lot to the Torah, you know, this is all the idea of the Torah code, the Bible code, definitely the proof the Torah from heaven. So, this is the first one, as we said, the seed. Then, let us see to the other one. The other one, quite also important, as we said. You have here the codes. Yeah, let us see it now beautifully. When it comes here, the DNA code is letters of the language of God, the Torah, and then it is a seed. Yeah, of the man, Adam, and the creation of man. Then, but we saw more. Yeah, we saw. This was very one thing, also very interesting, no doubt, what he found, Michael Drozing, and this was really the idea, the connection between the code of the DNA, the code DNA, and the code of the Torah. And then I found that the connection of the letters, letters of the Torah, which we see, in the other tables, yeah, which really support it. And this is really what we showed in the other thing which we had, like here, yeah, we have really, there is another one which gives more strength to what we found very interesting. It brings the, the code of life, you want to, co to connect the code of life with the DNA only by the word zero, because zero, because but again, what I found here is a word bazera in the seed. You have the code of life. But I found here what is the Torah is the code of life. And again, the language of God, in the Torah, and Otiot letters. And here, apparently, you have DNA. I mean, that the code of life is really the DNA. But it is the Torah, with the language of God, and the letters of the Torah. So here is another table which gives more power to this finding, connecting the codes to the Torah, to letters. So all together, as we said, very, very important tables, very important ones, especially the connection between the letter, the code of DNA, the code of the Torah, or letters. And then what we did ourselves, it means a table by ourselves that we did to find out about the DNA is the code of the Torah, and that's what we found, is amazing, we found here the code DNA and the language of God, Elohim, and the structure of man, and the seed of man. It's an important table, very, very important, significant table.